What's going on everybody? It is Sil Spectre here, back with another episode of my Pokemon Red and Blue walkthrough. This is part 12. We are certainly moving along. We are now in the Rock Tunnel. Last episode we went to the route uh, east of Cerulean City, so we backtracked to Cerulean City, went east, and we eventually ended up at the Rock Tunnel, which is this completely pitch back black cave, uh, and we don't have Flash yet. So we're making our way through, just kind of stumbling by, and we are running into another trainer right now. We'll see what he has to say. Hikers leave twigs as trail markers. Interesting. I love this music. What? You're not a hiker, you liar. Now this is Broken Leg Girl, and she wants to fight, so we're going to fight her. <laughs> Jigglypuff. No match for me. I've got a hipster on my side. Um, sorry for last week's, or last episode, I don't know what my up, uh, upload schedule is going to be like, but my last episode, the audio was a little off, I think the uh, music was a little too overwhelming, but that should be fixed now, I just tested it, so you should be able to hear me fine now. Sorry about that, you can still, I think, hear me in the episode, but it's pretty, music's pretty loud. But hey, if you don't like my voice, all the better for you. I'm going to switch into Skull Bash so we can uh, keep him the same level as Hipster. See what a water gun does to this Pidgey. Okay, decent. Oh, not another Sand Attack one. We haven't had to deal with this in a while. But now we've got another one that uses Sand Attack. Looks like this trainer with the broken legs has been influenced by Blue, our rival, who always uses accuracy lowering, lowering moves. Unfortunately. Let's see what we yeah, nice. I want to be able to use uh, payday when I'm battling it, because then you get the money, you get to pick up extra money afterwards. <laughs> I don't think we've had that happen yet. Okay, so now we use Barney or Nido King. And yeah, we're still trying to make our way through this. I don't know how to get out of here to be honest with you, but we'll uh we'll skip past battles like that. Okay, that's a dead end. Yeah, we don't need to be facing Zubats, so I'll just uh, fast forward during the Zubat battles, or whatever else there is. And another dead end. There should be a ladder over here then. Okay, one more trainer. Ha <laughs> ha, can you beat my power, I think you said? This guy's huge, man. All these hikers are giant. Let's see what Barney can do against a Geodude. We don't have that many... Hmm. I think we might have to switch in Skull Bash again. Uh, you know what? I'll just fast forward through this. Okay, that was a critical hit. Nice. We didn't have to fast forward. <laughs> yeah, this might take a while, but I do want... Oh! What just happened there? Did you guys see that? Maybe he used Explosion, but I think Geodudes normally don't carry Explosion. What happened? I'm so confused. Okay, we'll send out Skull Bash so we can finish off this battle quite easily. But what just happened? I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So now we're down a Pokemon. I don't think I have any revives, so that's gonna be hectic. Oh well. We're almost out of here anyway, I think. Okay, the ladder should... Oh, maybe there's more dead ends. Oh my gosh. I bet you do want a Pokedex. You can't have one. You're not friends with Professor Oaks. I got that. Connections going on. Okay, Slowpoke can't handle the Fury Attack, can he? Come on, come on, come on. Three. Four. Nice. Oh, that was amazing. That's so good. I'm happy about that. Okay, another Slowpoke. We won't be able to do that again, but at least we know we can handle him. Oh, 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 maybe. No way. Unbelievable. That's amazing. Two in a row. Okay, watch. We're gonna get two hits on this one. No critical hit. Three. Yeah, okay. Disable. Oh no. That's no good. Uh, what would happen if I used Mirror Move when he used Disable? 
Would his disable be disabled? <laughs> okay, we're getting way out of line here. Let's get out of this cave. This cave is so annoying. Oh my gosh. Come on, hipster. Nice. Okay, we finally beat this guy. There are too many Pokemaniacs in here. There's broken leg girls, Pokemaniacs. Am I going the right way? Oh, this is crazy. This looks like it's starting to get a little hectic. The cave pattern. Oh my gosh. Don't try anything funny in the dark. Oh gosh. Well, you've already gotten your legs broken, so... I don't think there's much else I can do. Hipster. Yeah, there's always like these subtle, like, either dirty sounding or inappropriate, generally inappropriate, um, statements made by non-playable characters in Pokemon. There's about like five in every game. I'd like to do like a compilation of them, actually. Let me know if you guys would like me to do that. Post in the comments if you want me to do it. I'll try and like compile all the dirty or inappropriate sounding things that uh, NPCs have said in Pokemon. I think that'd be pretty cool. I saw him a chop in this tunnel. Congratulations. Okay, well at least there's trainers here. So I think we're going the right way, generally. If there weren't any trainers, then I'd be I'd fear that we're backtracking. Oh my gosh, this person has so many but we're just gonna fast forward through this. Ratata. Pack, critical hit, nice. 30, okay. Um is Skullbash is 29, okay. So we can send out Skullbash. Skullbash is gonna evolve very soon. That's so awesome. I'm excited for that. Last Ice is one of my favorites, and he's the Pokemon I started off with, actually. Way back in 1998, when Pokemon Blue first came out. Which is cool. Okay, we're gonna have to use Bite on this Bell Sprout. Can't wait till we get to Lavender Town, the music is so awesome. Nice. Yeah, I think this might be the home stretch. They tend to pack a lot of trainers in the end of caves and stuff. So we'll see if my theory is correct. Mm. I'm wondering which way I should go. Okay, that's a dead end. Come on. Oh, another trainer. I came this far for Pokemon? What does that mean? Fortunately, you can't go any further because your legs are broken. I can't get over how funny that looks. All the lasses look like they have broken legs at the knee. They go, like, outwards. It's so strange. Um, I'm gonna keep him in just because I have a super effective move. And, uh, Skull Bash isn't that effective against Oddish at all. Nice, now we should have one more. I'll send in Skull Bash. We should be really close to the end of this tunnel. It's a long one, though. It's longer than I thought. It's longer than I remember. Oh, no. Okay, good. So funny how in red and blue moves just tend not to work at all. <laughs> Whirlwind. I think in last episode we had a couple moves that just didn't work. Strange. Oh, what is this? Did you guys see what's this here? Is this a sign? Rock tunnels to Cerulean City to Lavender Town. I think we've made it. I'm gonna quickly check what's over here. Okay, get in. Nice, I think we're- oh, whoa, 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 I went way too far. There we go. I think we've made it. Nice. So we are outside. Didn't even have to use Flash, that's pretty cool. Now we'll have a couple trainers to battle here. Oh, there should be an item here. Max Ether, nice. Not too bad, that gets useful later on, it restores some of your uh, PP. Or most of it, actually. I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. Yeah. <laughs> Your legs are broken. That's why. Um, Pidgey. Okay. 
Can't wait till we get to Lavender Town. Come on. Water gun. Should do about half. Oh, a little monster recorders. See? Moves just don't work. What is this? I don't get it at all. You know what moves do work though? The annoying as hell ones. Oh, Pidgeotto, I think. Is that the first or second Pidgeotto we've seen? I think Blue might have had one the last time we faced him. Okay, that didn't even do half. Yikes. Critical hit. I can't wait till we get a new Pokemon too. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Nice. That'll be a lot of experience. Guaranteed level 30. Oh, okay, never mind. Actually, that wasn't that much. I think there was one Pokemon that gave us like 600 earlier on. I forget what it was. Maybe an Onix. Level 20 Onix or something like that. Okay, we can speed through this guy. He has rock types. Show him what a little water gun does. Sweet! That guy's dead, and we are level 30. Nice. Onyx, okay, here, we can test if this is like 600 HP, uh, HP, um, experience points. I'd assume it would be around there. Uh, 486, no, okay, that's less than Pidgeotto even. Strange. What the heck could have given us 600 H uh, experience points then? Hmm. Ah, this mountain air is delicious. I've heard that actually. I've heard mountain air is very clean and nice. Never been to a mountain though. If anyone can confirm that in the comments, that'd be very useful. Alright, come on. We're almost there. And then we get to see, uh, remember I was talking about in the SSN, there's that theory that Gary's Raticate died. We killed it, actually, in that battle that we had. Because he shows up at the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. A uh, little bit of a spoiler if you haven't played the game. <laughs> but yeah, he shows up in Lavender Town, and uh, he's mourning a, lo a loss of one of his Pokemon, apparently. It seems like that. Because um, the Pokemon Tower is the place where Pokemon are buried. And he's there, and he's like, you don't have a Pokemon that died, all snottily. Implying that he has one. Um, oh, okay. I will battle this last guy very quickly. Hey, kid, do you want to see my Pokemon? That sounds creepy, once again. See what I mean? Slowpoke. Oh, we we'll use Bite, I guess. Um, see what that does. Okay, that's about half. We'll hurry this up. Critical hit. Nice. 31. Oh my gosh. We gotta get Barney in the front. Withdraw. Um, I don't think we need that. Our defense is gonna be high enough once we evolve, so... Whatever. Alright. We have reached Lavender Town. And the music is just gorgeous heal up. And as I said in the last episode, we're going to kind of skip by Lavender Town uh, for a bit to the next route, and we will actually catch our next Pokemon. We'll try to find one of these. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of gold. Gold's what they're after. I've never heard that. Cubones wear skulls, right? People will pay a lot for one. I saw Cubone's mother dying to escape from Team Rocket. Yeah, now there's the story, there's the huge story in Lavender Town. Uh, but we will come back here in a bit. I really want to get this Pokemon. Uh, I wonder if I can... I'm going to dot... Oh, okay, that didn't work. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Guaranteed. She's going to say Jigglypuff, even though it's not fluffy. Or Clefairy. Okay, fair enough. Okay, Barney. It's time to get you up to level 30. You're slacking here. Ooh, that was nice. Kind of pointless because it would have taken two hits anyway. Oh well. That's what you get for not being level 30, Barney. Jeez, come on. 
for fairy. Um, yeah, let's see what it would normally do without a critical hit. Okay, or we could get another one and just it works that time. Seems legit. Okay, now this one just has a, a one uh, broken, broken leg here. <laughs> I can't get over these sprites. Okay, we have found the grass. And luckily I saved all those rare candies, so we can just pump this guy up with some steroids. I'm gonna speed this up while we look for it. Oh, Mankey, I really want a Mankey too. I don't know if I want to use one on the team or not though. You know what? I think we will. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna at least catch him. Um, here, I'll use uh, Poison Sting maybe? Whoa, okay, that did about half. So maybe that'll be enough. Yeah, we'll add Mankey to our team. I love Primate, that's why. But the main person, I, the main, main person, I'm gonna catch a person and put him on my team. The main guy that I wanted was uh, something that I won't tell you yet, but I'm, we're, we're about to get him. It wasn't Mankey. Mankey I did want though. Extremely quick to anger, it could be... Oh, jeez. Yes. What should we nickname Mankey? Um, let's call him Rocky. I don't know if that's unoriginal in any way, but it's fitting. I like it. Okay. Let's see if we can get lucky enough to find this other guy that I want. I'm pretty sure he's in this route. <gasps> there he is. That's him. I wonder if we can find a higher level. No, I'm not going to risk it. I'll just use a poison tank to catch this one. Oh no. Oh jeez. Are you kidding me? That's some garbage right there. Uses roar. So apparently moves do work at the most inconvenient times ever. Come on. Yeah. So Growlithe is what I've been wanting to uh, add to my team for. <gasps> my team. Okay, please don't use roar. What do I do? Should I just throw a Pokeball? I'm going to throw one. I don't know if this will work. Ah, oh, jeez, don't use one. Die! <laughs> Come on. What are we supposed to do here? I wonder if I have a great... I think I might have a great ball, so we can try that. Perhaps. <gasps> okay. At least they're not too rare. Yes, I have one great ball. I'm gonna use it. Let's see. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh! Does all they have roar? Is that it? That is so annoying. Okay. Like, I can't hurt it at all. Duh, come on. Jeez. This is hectic. They really don't want you to have relic, do they? I don't have any, like, sleep moves either. Maybe, oh, maybe I. Maybe Oddish. But he'd get killed before he gets to use it. Oh, whoa! I forgot that was a thing. I forgot you can cut down grass. No, no sleep moves. That was nuts. I forgot about that. Okay, Mankey. Pidgey, Pidgey. Um. I don't know what we're gonna do here, guys. Please help. <laughs> um, okay. What do I do? I don't know what to do here. Come on. Oh, jeez. <gasps> he used bite. Okay, maybe this one's gonna stay. So I'm gonna hurt him because we're not catching him with a Pokeball with full health. Dumb! Oh, jeez! <laughs> I wanna cry. Help, please. Oh, oh, oh. What do I do? I'm gonna risk it in case he uses bite. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We should have saved the great ball for a moment like this, but... <gasps> Are you kidding me? This is ins... Oh, he used Ember, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what to do here at all. This is... this is hectic. Ew, level 15. Watch, this is gonna be the one we catch. Dog! <gasps> it didn't affect. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Okay, we got one. What did I tell you? We're gonna get the lowest leveled one, but that's alright. We got a friggin' Growlet. And he's a puppy, apparently. Very protective of its territory. It will bark and bite to repel intruders from its space. Do you want to give a nickname to Alex? Yes. I'm going to name him... Um... I'm trying to think, what would be a good dog name? I'm gonna call him Ranger. Because he's, um... Used by Officer Jenny in that. I think that's a good name. Ranger. We can always change these later, but I think Ranger is pretty solid. Alright, I'm so happy. We caught a Growlithe. What I'm gonna do is I'll probably have to grind a bit to bring him up to the level. Well, both him and Nanki. Up to the level of the rest of our Pokemon. But for now, that is all. Next time you guys will see a full. Well, we'll have five Pokemon plus Oddish. So basically a full team. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to like, leave a like down in the, uh, not in the comments, just leave a like down there. Jeez, come on. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, as I said in the last episode, I am trying to reach 150 subscribers, and I'm very close. I think like three or four away. So that would be awesome if you could click the subscribe button as well. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Peace.